Welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Skeeter Revolutionary Interior Design Construction. One of the things, if you open up a Skeeter bass boat, you'll see this aluminum decking system. What that does is because of Skeeter's engineering and the, the exactness of their molds, it allows them to build this aluminum decking system. One thing about that aluminum decking system is every boat has to come out of the mold exactly the same so the decking system fits. If you think about it, where it attaches here, that all has to be perfectly matched. In a laid, in a laid boat with fiberglass, you can custom build that. If the mold's off just a little bit, you can make the interior fit fine. But with the aluminum decking system, it does a couple different things. It removes a lot of weight. Aluminum is a lot lighter than fiberglass, and we'll get into that in a little bit about some construction differences. But aluminum decking system, if you look here, it runs all the way around here. We're going to open up the compartments. This aluminum decking system is all this one big piece right here that fits here. There's another one in the, actually in the back deck. But with that system, it removes a lot of the excess weight that, that fiberglass would actually create, creating all this. It's structurally a lot stronger. Uh, one, of the, one of the interesting things is people talk about our Lexan boxes. Lexan is the same thing that aircraft windshields are made out of. There's a lot of Lexan products. Do you have an iPhone with an outer box? That's a Lexan product. You can take a Lexan uh, covered iPhone, throw it out on the ground, and it ain't going to hurt it. Uh, so Lexan is a very durable product. For example, I dare you to go to another competition's boat and do this. That's jumping inside the Lexan box. I'm 250 pounds. And I dare you to go do that. You ain't going to probably put 250 pounds of tackle in here. But I can jump in here, jump up and down, and it's rock solid. So if somebody tells you that this is a cheap way to construct boats that are exactly wrong, this is a more precision way, and it costs actually a lot more to do it because you have to be precision on your top caps coming out every time because when that thing comes down the assembly line, you ain't got time to be adjusting this aluminum decking system to put it in a boat for the number of boats Skeeter builds. It's stronger. Aluminum is very, very strong. Uh, one of the things, if a, if a deck would sag or anything, there are support jacks under here that you can come in and actually raise this deck and get it to compensate for any of that with fiberglass. The only way to do that is buy a whole new top cap. Would you want to buy a whole new top cap or have an aluminum decking system? We do the same thing as our aluminum deck up in front. We do in back. Around all this, this is all aluminum here. That's aluminum. Let's move over here. That's aluminum. Got the same wax and box. Probably shaking the camera a little bit with my big butt in there. But that's the same thing. Back here, this is all aluminum. This is one big aluminum piece set inside the top cap to put your storage boxes, your live wells, your battery access. What happens if you have a live well that leaks? Or you have to get in here to replace a fuel tank? With Skeeter, you can take this deck, a dealer can do it, pull the bolts, pull the deck out, replace the component, Go back in there. I mean, our live wells are strong as heck, too. I mean, 250 pounds on both sides. Dudes, this is strong. Go, do, go get the competitor to jump in one of their day boxes, their fiberglass boxes, and see what happens. Uh, they might want to get a gel coat repair kit. But this aluminum decking system is there for a reason. It's another feature of a Skeeter boat. If we take weight out with the aluminum, why are we weigh more?
Now let's talk about fiberglass and boat construction. Here's part of the uh, Skeeter floor. This is where the drain was cut out. You can see the special polymer decking. This, this boat, actually the deck is not part of the hull. It's actually a deck laid in underneath here and underneath there is this special decking material. Man, I've seen a lot of guys busting bags of ice on their floor with a big, thick, sturdy deck like that. You ain't going to have to worry about damaging a Skeeter floor, but you might watch out on somebody else's. There's a Black Onyx right there where that 1198 goes through. Came from that graph. Look at the thickness of that thing. That is layers and layers and layers of fiberglass with our gel coat thickness on the outside. This is that bread spot back there. See where that GPS receiver is right here? Look how much glass is in that top deck. Go ask the competition how thick theirs is. Go ask the dealer. I'm sure they're putting in electronics. They should probably got all kinds of slugs like this. Would they like to show how thick that is? That's almost a half inch thick there. That's over, that's three eighths. That's the over a quarter. This is the back top cap. Looks like the top of it is uh, got to leave in a little bit more. But you got your your outer surface, and then all those layers of fiberglass. Uh, your gel coat is sprayed into mold first. Then your flake, and doing a dry flake, all your flake lays flat, and we'll, you can see that. Then your fiberglass is laid. This is the last part that's laid in the mold. Basically, a boat's built backwards from the outside in. And people talk about fiberglass. I've got five layers. I've got seven. I've got three layers. What, what's best? Well, there's many, many multitudes of different types of, of fiberglass that boat builders use. Uh, they're not going to dispose their construction method because that's privileged information for that boat company. Uh, but what matters, instead of layers, is how much weight of fiberglass. Let's talk about fiberglass. If boat builder A used five layers and boat builder B used seven layers, and Boat Builder C used six layers, which one is best? I bet you pick B. Or C is second best and A is third best. Is it okay if I prove you wrong? There's like multitudes of different fiberglass these companies use. There's mats, there's roving woven, there's strings of fiberglass. It's how they use the fiberglass that is really important to you. Now for example, what we're going to say is we're going to say Boat Builder A uses two layers that is 32 ounce per, per square inch or per square foot. He's going to use one layer that's 16 ounce and he's going to use two layers that is 26 ounces to make up his boat com composition. We're going to say Boat Builder B uses two 8 ounces. We're going to, he's going to use two 12s. He's going to use one 26 ounce layer. And he's going to use two 16 ounce layers. And Boat Builder C, he's going to use uh, a, one layer of 32. He's going to use one 26 ounce. And he's going to use three layers of 8 ounce. And he's going to use one layer of 16 ounce. Now let's add this up. 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 is or 6, 7. And we got six layers. Now we're going to get out our handy dandy iPhone here because it's got a, a calculator on it. And we're going to go to calculate. And we're going to take 32 is 64. Whoop, we better clear that out. That was 64 plus 2 at the 1 at 16. We're going to add 16 there. And we're going to add 2 at 26. That's 52. We've got a total of 132 ounces of fiberglass. We're going to clear this out. 
we've got 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 times 12 is 24, plus a 26, plus 2 at 16 is 32. That's 98 ounces. Now we got six layers. We got us a, we're going to clear back out. We got a 32 plus a 26 plus 3 times 8 is 24 plus a 16 gives us another at 98. Now is 5 worse than 7? Is 5 worse than 6? 132 ounces versus 98 ounces versus 98 ounces. Layers of fiberglass is more important on how the boat builder uses it and where he uses it and the quality of product. And we set our Skeeter boats way more because we put the fiberglass where it's supposed to be in the structural integrity of the boat. The sides are thicker. We don't foam fill to create strength. We build the strength in the boat because of layers of fiberglass and the weight of the fiberglass and the type of fiberglass versus the number of layers, where that fiberglass is put. Layers of fiberglass can be meaningless. It's how you use it that's important to you.